Nah. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Drumming Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. What we have here today. Man, how did everybody do today for these Yeezy Quantum Barums? Berries. Bear barums. It's, it's barums. Like, I know. I'm just playing. <laughs> Anyways, how did everyone do? It looked like from what I saw from all the feed and everything, and everybody's been hitting me up. Oh, by the way, I am still looking for a size nine to a nine and a half. So hit me up, you know, for a personal. And yes, uh, looks like a lot of people took some uh, good W's, man. It's, uh, these things, I heard, from what I heard, a lot of people hit manually. So congrats to everyone out there. I don't think it was crazy bot city, especially on uh, Adidas. So everyone had their chance to get these things if they wanted to. And you know, it's actually pretty decent to make a little bit of money these things. So. Uh, these are the original ones, okay? This is the Quantums, you know what I'm saying? This is the one that came out on All-Star Weekend, and you guys already know. Uh, shouts to Sneer Con as always. Bam, bam. But the Bariums, it's kind of, you know, it's like this, but it's a little bit, you know, different colorway. I think it's still cool, man. I think it's good for, like, you know, the the general public or just, you know, us sneaky heads out there to actually get our hands on it. Because you guys know already know with these here... These were a little bit tougher to get because it was only in Chicago and it was only basically an All-Star Weekend. There wasn't really an actual public release on things. It kind of felt like really exclusive. So for these to come out, it's actually pretty nice, man. And even though I didn't try my hardest on it, you know, I'm hey, I'm back to work. So I didn't really try that hard and yeah, I wasn't able to cop. So, but you know what, it's all good, man. Hey, I'm like I said, still looking for a size nine to nine and a half. Hit me up. Now with these things here, I like what I like to do, you know, for you guys about these hold or sell videos you know a little bit of resale should you hold should you sell will the resale price go up or anything like that what do you guys think you know so i like to do these videos for you guys and i was actually one of the first ones to do it pulling up looking at the resale price as of right now if you guys can't see um so my size usually about a size nine to a nine and a half i call that kind of like the common size you know the resale price ain't looking too bad right now. Well, uh, you know, a couple, you know, days before the release and all that, it was probably at its highest price point. It was about like, I saw prices around like that $770 price. And I knew that was, I knew that wasn't gonna stick. There was no way. I figured it was gonna go down and they were going down prior when it was closer to release. And they were probably about around like that 500, like that 500, 600 range. Uh, of course, it kept going lower and lower and lower till when it was getting closer to release. So it was about that, at about that 450 to 400 range right now. And of course, the day of uh, June 25th, uh, today on Thursday is looking like we're at that price point of, for a size nine to a nine and a half, it's looking like out of that 430 and 415 range. And that's because no one really has pairs. People panic is buying right now because there are people that did take L's. This is probably gonna be one of the highest price point as it is right now. So what do you should do? Should you sell or should you hold? There's kind of only two ways to do this, right? I mean, honestly, this is probably gonna be a quick flip. You know, this is one of those quick flips out there, especially before prices just kind of plummet down once all the little Timmies get all their pairs and just wanna dump these things. And it's gonna dump the price even further. I do see these prices here. I'm gonna make a resale prediction as well. We're gonna go with small sizes. Usually, you know, everyone thinks that Yeezys is a small size, right? From a size four all the way about to about, I wanna say uh, seven and a half, something like that. This will probably gonna be at that range. Just look at how the Alvas are, you know? The Alvas is like, to me, it's a better shoe and it's kind of like a man's shoe. And this here, this is a man's shoe. So the small sizes is not gonna be the money size, guys. It's the bigger sizes. You wanna get those bigger sizes. And so small sizes, four to about seven and a half. I do see it around that like 300 to 350 range. You know, somewhere in between or just around, right around there. It's not gonna be way too much, especially once people get pairs and try to dump them, get rid of them. Cause I, you know, I don't see like a lot of ladies who are like, like, man, I need these things here. So it's one of those things here. And of course my size from a size, you know, eight to about nine and a half, that's kind of like that common size. I, de I do see prices when it's all said and done, once people get pairs, we're probably gonna see that price range around like that 350, the 400, maybe in 420, somewhere around that range as, as well. And of course, the bigger sizes, which I hope everyone got, you know, like say about size 11 and up, those could be pretty good. Um, some people wanna say five, I don't think they're gonna hit five, not right now, not right away. They're probably gonna be once, you know, I mean, I do like prices right now, big sizes, they're all already at 450. I do see it staying around that range, like 400 to 450, or even just 420, just stagger around that range. And 
yeah, man, I, I don't see, you know, that's for the bigger sizes, you know, and that's, hey, that is the money size. So if you got those sizes, that might be a pretty decent hold, especially if you guys want to go with if history three is to repeat itself, you guys already know. Like the quant like the original quantum guys, like the original quantums, like these here, back when these things first released during like, I want to say like, you know, All-Star Weekend when this hype was definitely at its highest point. These things were going for like a thousand. They dipped down pretty quickly to about, uh, looks like it was like around 700 at the time. And then they kind of gradually kept going down. I saw prices at like, uh, I want to say, say like 650, 600, you know? And I was actually kind of nervous because I actually paid, I believe Canadian was turned out to be like 700 and something, 750 or something. So I was like, dang, I've made a bad investment. But hey, prices have been kind of going up and creeping up though, especially now since the, the bariums just came out, it kind of puts a little bit more uh, resell on these things here as well. So I'm prices right now, they're at, uh, looks like about 800 to uh, 750. So they're not bad. So prices do creep up. But with these barium, bariums here, it's kind of like a plain colorway to me, like it's brown. I'm not trying to dog on it by any means. I'm actually looking for a pair, so, you know, chill out. <laughs> the second colorway, and it's not that really exclusive, and it looks like a lot of people hit, not just resellers and bought. Usually when that happens, not that many pairs are gonna be on the market. A lot of people's gonna be holding and so on and so forth, and that just kind of raised the price up. But with here, since a lot of uh, people looks like hit them, like a lot of people got them, so, no offense, it's going to drive the price down a little bit because people's going to compete and people's going to undercut. So I, that's my resale pr uh, prediction it was going to be. Now, should you hold? It all depends if you think it's worth it. Do you really think it's worth it when, if they only go up to about 500? I think that's where the, its maximum potential for these bariums is about 500, maybe 520 in common sizes as in like, you know, size A to about 10 or so like that. Maybe big sizes like 12, 13. They maybe can go to 550, but really, do you really wanna hold it for a couple, like, you know, 50 bucks? Is it worth the hold then, you know? That's what I kinda take when, you know, some things, if you just wanna hold it or not, you know? And to me, it's not really a, you know, a hold that I wanna hold, like if it only goes up $50, you know? That's not really worth it. I'd rather, sell it now, make your profit, and then move on to the next release because there's gonna be a lot more shoes to come out. And you know, we got other more Yeezys to come out, Zion's and Yizafril, <laughs> and then all the other uh, Yeezys coming out. And just also Jordan's too as well, just a lot more stuff coming out. So I like to just keep on, keep these things moving. But if you do hold, hey, that's that's cool too, but like, it's not gonna be that much like people think. Like these bariums are not gonna be at this price point. No, no way. Not at 700, 600, no way. They didn't even start off like that. So, it's, this, is, this is gonna be a quick flip. It's just definitely gonna be a quick flip. That's just my opinion out there. Prices do go up, cool, you know? I mean, how much more can it go up? If it goes past 500, I'll be very surprised. You guys can get on me about that, you know? I know you guys love to get on me about that, especially when I talk about the Travis Scott 270s, which they are still down, okay, guys? Chill out. I know I've been getting a lot of... <laughs> when I talk about the Travis Scott 270s, I did say the price is gonna go down. And when I meant by day one, they were at 750 to, yeah, 700. And yes, they did go up a little bit. They're, uh, you know, they were bottomed out at 450, but they went back up to about like 500, five something. Hey, they went up, cool, but they're not at 700 yet. And that's what I mean. These things, if the bariums, if they drop to like something crazy, like $300 or something like that when they retail for 250, yes, then definitely hold it because there's way too many panic people out there. Don't sell it at 300. Wait till they go back up to about like 350, 400. That's, that will be a decent hold. But to me, when it's at $400 right now, that's when I would let it go. You know, that's, but hey, you guys can do whatever you want, okay? But I'm just saying, 400 is probably that sweet point. And honestly, I would actually sell it at like, you know, at 380 or three, something like that. That's, I feel like that's a pretty decent price. I mean, you're still making about 100 to $120 come up. That's pretty good for a pair of shoes, especially, you know, Maybe if you got a couple pairs and you can let them all go, you know, make a couple dollars here and there and then move on to the next shoe. Um, can't compare the bariums with the, the, the original Quantum, especially the lifestyle. It's just not there, you know? So don't try don't try to, you know, compare it or anything like that because whatever the, the these are, the bariums gonna be much cheaper than those. So put that in perspective as well. So maybe if these go skyrocket up, then the bariums kind of go up too. 
But anyways, that's pretty much end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vids. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Chris on IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter. And don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I'm Jeremy Chris. Peace.